So in the last vlog I uh, I covered that I'm doing more races and less racing and I covered that I'm going to dive into the world of race pacing next year in 2024 so today I'm going to cover the races I'm already signed up to pace what they are, when they are and what I'm pacing and also the one goal race that I'm actually going to race in 2024 as well so I'll cover all that today let's get a bit more run done and let's cover what races I'm doing in 2024 Yeah, in the previous vlogs I've obviously covered that I'm going to intensify my training next year it's going to be bigger, a bigger focus on doing all the hard work within training and setting PBs and time trials and doing far more uh, of that kind of intensity in training and a bit less focus on putting all my eggs into a, a race basket and trying to PB on the one day when obviously there's months and months of work gone into it and then sometimes it doesn't quite come off plus by intensifying the training I don't have to worry about the racing quite so much and focus on that as much which then obviously then lends itself to uh, I can enjoy my races more so it kind of goes hand in hand I, uh, I do all the hard work within the training and then I can enjoy the races and that led me to obviously jump into race pacing uh, far less pressure on me as a runner in terms of setting a time and hitting a goal time within the race so I've covered all that in the previous vlogs go back and look through the running vlog playlist if you missed anything and today I'm just going to actually go through the races I've actually I'm actually down to pace already and the ones I'm definitely confirmed to do So as of right now I've got four confirmed races that I'm pacing I'll cover them now and there's another two that are kind of pending so four to six races at the minute and I'm still in communication obviously I might do a few more depends if it fits in with my schedule there's a couple of parts of the year where I can't really commit so yeah I'll do them in chronological order so yeah race number one is on the 18th of February and it's the Wrexham Village Bakery Half Marathon which is hosted by Run Cheshire so yeah I'm going to be pacing the Half Marathon in Wrexham it's on the 18th of February and I'm going to be pacing the 150 Half Marathon yeah I've deliberately picked nice easy paces so obviously my current PB for the half is uh, 134 or 135 well high 134 is 135 so I've obviously picked a nice easy pace I was debating whether to put, try and pace the 140 half marathon but again with it being my I'm just dipping my toe into pacing and I wanted to enjoy obviously the race itself a bit less pressure so I picked 150 so that'll be nice and comfortable at 550 uh, 5.13 I think it is per K so uh, I'm running how fast I'm running right now I'm running 507 at the minute so just nice easy conversational should be nice and easy and I can offer some encouragement so yeah race one the Wrexham Village Bakery half marathon on the 18th of Feb I'll be doing the 150 half marathon second race I'm confirmed to do is the Alton Park 10k so yeah run through have like a running festival at Alton Park which is a, a former racetrack I think I don't think there's any races happening at the minute maybe there is some smaller ones but yeah it's a racetrack so like a car and motorbike racing previously and yeah, you basically just run around the track I was uh, I could have picked the half or the 10 and I thought I'd just do the 10k so I'm going to pace the 50 minute 10k at the Alton Park 10k which is hosted by Run Through I've never kind of ran on a racetrack before so 
I'll be enjoying the uh, 10k. It's a nice easy pace again. Five minute per k for 10k. My current PB is like 42 minutes, so should be nice and comfortable. And that's the kind of theme. I've picked kind of the same now every 10k. But this year, next year, I'm going to be pacing around 50 minutes and the half marathons are 150, so nice and comfortable, nice and enjoyable. And then the final two races I'm confirmed to do, again, are both 10Ks. One is the Northwich 10K on the 30th of June, again, by run through. So again, most of all these are local to me. None of them are that far away. I did that deliberately, I've not gone, I'm not going to travel across the country. They're all fairly local to Chester and Cheshire West where I'm based. So yeah, Northwich 10k on the 30th of June. Again, I'll be pacing a 50 minute 10k there. And then the final race I'm definitely confirmed to do at the minute is the Run Town Park 10k on the 17th of November. So right towards the end of the year. And again, run through hosting that one. And again, it's a 10k, so I'm going to run the, I'm going to pace the 50 minute 10k. So again, all the same pace, all nice and comfortable. Especially if I make strides in my running this year, it'll make it even more comfortable. But that's kind of the aim. I don't want to push myself. I don't want to be feeling fatigued or anywhere near uh, kind of an effort whilst I'm pacing. The whole aim is to do it comfortably, help those around me. So yeah, there are the four races, three run through 10Ks spaced out over the year and the one half marathon at the minute, but uh, which is hosted by Run Cheshire. And then there's two more races, which are kind of pending. One is the Warrington Running Festival. I've offered to pace the half marathon there. Again, run through hosting that one. That's on the 22nd of September. And I'll, again, I'm, I'm down to do the 150 half marathon, but I'm the reserve pacer. So I'll only be doing that if the uh, pacer drops out, which is probably unlikely, but yeah, I've kept my name in that for good reason. I'll tell you why in a minute when I go into my goal race. So that's a half marathon uh, in the middle of September. They run through Warrington Running Festival. So I may do that. I'll confirm later in the year if I get the confirmation, but I'm probably just a reserve. I'm probably not going to end up doing that one. So yeah, the last one I'm, I'm pending to do is the Chester Half Marathon. My uh, first half marathon of last year. So uh, my local race, I've offered to uh, again, pace the half marathon. I've only made initial inquiries. They haven't announced the paces yet and they're going to get in touch if they need me. So yeah, that's the 19th of May, just a half marathon. I may well be pacing that, but again, no confirmation as yet. So there are the four to six races. The four I'm definitely confirmed to do, I should be doing. The other two may or may not come to fruition and I'll happily do those if they need me. And I'm still obviously looking out for potential additional ones if again, they fit in. So obviously I'm going to be running all year, fairly intensively. And obviously I'll tweak stuff in and around these races, just so I'm not too battered. I can run the race quite comfortably. So they're the races I'm pacing. Obviously predominantly it's 10Ks and half marathons where paces are, are kind of required. Uh, no 5K pacing required really. No, I don't think I'd really want to do that. Um, I do want to pace marathons eventually in the, in the future. Well, again, I've only done the one at the minute and I feel like I need a couple more under my belt before I can confidently start pacing them. No matter how easy it is, it's still a hell of a distance. So no marathons pacing next year. So all that's left to say is the one goal race. I've entered one race next year that I'm actually going to run. I'm actually going to train for and I'm actually going to race. And for the reasons I've just mentioned, it's a return to the marathon. A distance I wanted to try again uh, in 2023, but I couldn't really commit to it. There was various things on the horizon, which meant I wasn't confident to be able to commit to a training block for it or be able to give it what I wanted to give in terms of effort. But in 2024, I was never going to not run another one. I loved the uh, marathon, my first marathon in 2022. 
and I've been desperate to try and have another crack at it. So yeah, 2024, I'm going to be returning to the marathon and I'm going to be returning to Chester. It's a course I've got unfinished business with. It's the one I ran in 2022, my one and only marathon so far. Uh, I loved it. It's my local race, like I said, there's no real logistic issues. But it's the course that, uh, again, I felt like what could have been. It's my first marathon, so I took, I took it on the chin, 348 finish. But I was rolling to like 25, 27k. And then with the hills, so I'm going to give it another go. I'm also technically kind of banned from distances, uh, races further away. Yeah, after the debacle, after the end of the Cheshire half marathon, when I was kind of an hour away from home and uh, struggling <laughs> medically and I had paramedics, I had to ring my wife and apologise and was panicking about trying to get home. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of loosely banned from races from further afield, so local races it is. I wanted to do Chester again. So I say it's a challenging course. I could have done Manchester, a nice flat one, but I feel if I can run a good marathon at Chester, I can kind of run it one a good one anywhere. So yeah, return to Chester, return to the marathon. I'm actually really looking forward to it. I right, so next week I'm gonna drop my shoe restock. Because obviously I've got to buy shoes in order to do all this intensified training, in order to obviously run a marathon now and complete a marathon training block as well as pace 10Ks and half marathons throughout the year. So look out for that, that'll drop next Saturday, a week today. I'll drop that and I'll cover the shoes I've purchased, why I've purchased them, and hopefully those, the ones I've got, will help me achieve my goals. So that's it, yeah, so I'm pacing in at the minute. Three 10Ks and a half marathon. I've got two more half marathons kind of lined up potentially. My shoe restock will drop next week and I've got one goal race which is Chester Marathon in October which again that's why I signed up for the Warrington Festival Half that'd be a great little warm-up race a couple of weeks before the marathon but yeah I'll wrap it up there I'll do a bit more cruising miles I'm just doing a nice cruise today taking a break from the winter speed series let the legs recover get some nice easy mileage in so I'm gonna get a few more K in try and beat the sun home the sun's setting quickly over to these days in the winter, so I said that's the plan for pacing, that's the plan for racing. I'm looking forward to 2024. And uh, if you're down to any of those races or you signed up for them or you're considering doing them, I look forward to maybe meeting some of you guys on the day. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. I said the check the channel is going to continue to go. We won't forget big, bigger and better. Uh, happy running. I'll see everyone on the next one.